And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some quick aggro. That's what we're calling this deck because this deck is uh, built around um, some quick attack stuff. It's pretty similar to the, it's, I don't know, I guess it's kind of similar to the Demacia midrange that we had earlier. I guess basically because it's Demacia as well. But our quick attack cards, the, the main three that we have are Lucian, Senna, you know, so the Lucian, Senna combo, and Zed. And so putting Lucian, Senna, and Zed together um, gets us, uh, you know, some good quick attacks. You know, like we're, we're basically, um, you know, worried about those. So that's kind of like where the name came from, you know, putting Lucian, Lucian, Senna, and Zed together. They're all very efficient attackers, you know, either two or three mana. They're difficult to block, especially when you can pair them with stuff that like pump the power of them or, you know, give them barriers, things like that. Um, really difficult to block. So, uh, you know, we have like Lauren Bladekeeper to play afterwards, you know, to, to pump them up even more, um, you know, make, make Zed, you know, like a, you know, you play Zed on turn three, attack with it. And then next turn when your opponent's attacking, you play the Blade Keeper, give it plus two, plus two. That's pretty awesome. We got some back-to-backs, um, a Scythria that can that pump them up. We got a little bit of challenge in here with the Swift Wing Lancers and uh, Fleet Feather Trekkers. Um, a little bit of a elusiveness as well with the Green Glade Duo and Shadow Assassin. It's kind of just a little bit of everything in here. All right, uh, so let's let's go and play some. So we're now in Master's rank, thanks to the High Redeemer control, and really just thanks to today, you know, like 7-3 across the board, 70% win rate on the day. That is an awesome um, win rate. So usually we play 10 matches for each one of these decks. Hey, we got two new subs, thanks to Santa Kitty Dexterity. Usually we play 10 matches with each one of these decks. We're gonna be playing for this one for about an hour. So maybe not all 10. And keep those three. Emperor Zen and Ryo, Ko Ryo Kokoro. Getting our sub goal tonight. All right, let's go. Push it. All right, so it looks like we're playing against um, the elusive deck. We want to hopefully outrace them. That's the goal. Without a sound. Night falls. Hmm. Puppy dogs are over here wanting to get pet a lot. This could force them to play Twin Disciplines. Okay. Oh, we got our own Twin Disciplines. That's good. Call me commander. I can go, I can like single combat these and then just flip Lucian. Sleep with 
<clears throat> Cliff Lucian is pretty good. So ideally, I'd want to play Zed plus Senna and then have Quint Twin Disciplines up, but we can't. That's one too much mana. So I guess we're gonna. So we're, guess we're gonna go Bright Seal Protector, and that's whether we're want to play Senna or Zed. The Zed hits harder. They cannot strike what they cannot see. Yeah, that's what I figured. That they had. My shield is yours. Honor guide me. You cannot escape. Eyes open. So they have the plus zero plus two. That doesn't save. Oh, do they have two of them? Okay, no, they just had the one. And that's why I want to put the barrier on on the Lucian. And incentivize blocking the 4-3. So I can get that extra damage across. Oh, well, that was pretty impressive. It's pretty impressive. I mean, we did a good job of drawing a bunch of Lucians and Senna's and Zed. And everything, but... Pretty sweet little deck. So, so far... I don't know if I want this single combat. I don't think I do. Creatures are pretty small. So far... Um, when we got to Masters, we were... Um, we were at, like... Rank 200, and we've gone two and two Check out these since then. And now we're at rank 300 something. Yeah, we are 202, and then we've gone two and two, and now we're like, what, like 311? Basically, I'm saying tough crowd. All right, y'all. Have a good night. Have that take that, this take this, this take this. And punch. Challenger is so strong. I like Challenger. Just 
make them make the worst possible blocks. What they got? Dang, that's a lot of spells. Mark of Asylum, Rally, Rally. That's not gonna do it. All right, we're two and zero, pup. You think so? You think Challenger's most underrated ability in the game? I can see that. I think it's very underrated too. It's very good. It's you know it's skill intensive for sure. It's not not super easy. All right, what we got? Replace these. Teemo Elise. Teemo Spiders. All right, so moving back up. So 241. So we were at 202. We're three and two since then, and now we're 241. <laughs> we're three and two, and we dropped to 30 places. Tough crowd, bro. Tough crowd. There's nothing really special here about our deck. It's just judgment. effective. Don't worry about me. Oh, no. Oh, Harvey's still thrown up. Ugh, smells so bad. No, Harvey, hey, don't look that up. All right, I'm gonna need to clean that real soon. Well, we'll... Everything's better with company. Says you. You're covered. 
She looks. She's looking at me with like the biggest puppy dog eyes of like I'm sorry. I put a bunch of grass. They're like eating the weeds outside. It's hard to keep them from doing that. This is mercy. A second, I'm gonna move him out of here. I don't want Harvey eating this and can't really hold her. Ugh, come on, come on, girls. Yeah, they they've long they've always ate grass. They have for years and years and years. So three pranksters, huh? Triple prankster. So everything that dies does three to me. I need a creature to die. I can just single combat have this fight like one of these things. I take three. Creature dies, then I play Radiant Guardian with Lifelink. I don't know. Seems a little unnecessary. Strength and grace, beauty in the blade. I will play my part. Burn away the shadows. This is me taking nine, going down to nine. Get back. 
right now. Of course, I have the single combat available. I think I can just go down to nine. Going down to six. This could be me taking lethal. They have the the three mana creature that, that makes two two creatures. I don't really want them to draw. I think it's more likely that, that we die if I just let them draw. Like if I just kill one of these things first and let them draw. I fight for the fallen! Yeah, Haunted Relic, Cast Salesman, that stuff, yeah. I don't want them to draw into those. So giving that thing lethal because now if they had like something to kill this, like a mark of the aisle, then I would be able to do the other one. You know, basically we'd be able to put the other three damage on either one of those. All right, we're three now. All right, we're back to basically where we were before, 194. Going four and two. Just so stay where you are. Yeah, you think they drew a relic or salesman? That's what. I think that's what they had. Thanks, BJJ. Karma and Nivea. One, two, three, four. Let's curve out. Demacia style. Do they have like the same picture? No, so they're different pictures. I was wondering if they had like, you know, like they're like the same back to back kind of thing. There's a chill in the air. That'd be pretty cool.
Oh man. Well, I guess I walked into that. The dark beckons. Hang on, Fuzzball. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Game thirty four starting to walk into stuff. Have another avalanche. A chill in the air. Got your back. I was, of course, planning on bear barrering barrier ing. That's difficult to say. Barrier ing. They'll never see us coming. The Zed. It's too late for you. So much power crippled by restraint. Power is nothing. I could still have Avalanche. Ooh. My arrow won't miss. They cannot hide. <sighs> I pity you. Playing the Zed lets me have back to back available. Again, I don't want an avalanche. They're out there. I'll spot them. This gets karma out of here. Ready the torches. Which is pretty important. But I am more vulnerable than ever to an avalanche. And you know, I basically used a whole lot of resources there. I'm down to just you know four cards. They got Karma and Anivia. Just like we practiced. There's a long path to get you. Closer to lethal than I thought it would be. 
My spirit is an unquenchable fire. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. <clears throat> I was expecting a harsh wins that they were just going to to do, but at least we got them down to three. Never mind. Back up to nine. The mind to be free. I got four cards in hand. I have three cards on the battlefield. Maybe my worst possible draw. Eternal winter. All right, looks like they got this now. Oh, I guess I get a free block with one of those things that's dying. But whatever. This game's over. Supposed to be here. Right on. I, I protect this place. I will endure. It's too late for you. Those avalanches, especially both avalanches, were pretty devastating, but especially that first one. Man, he dropped so far with a loss. That's pretty crazy. Like 125 spots. Shen Fiora. Against Shen Fiora, we need to have as many tricks as we can. Usually I'd be putting the back to back back. I was just thinking about the, you know, the challenger with the Fiora. Fleet Feather Tracker is awesome. 
card's really strong. It's the one mana challenger. It's, it's really strong. That's why I got three of them in here. Yeah, three of them in the Demacia deck. Very good. Strike quickly or go. The finest blades for my people. I need only one to win. Sparring student could be the wrong one drop. It's been pretty good for us, but you know, it could be like the, the two one uh that's elusive for a turn. Could even be Sithria. But it's been pretty good for us. They're gonna pass. My shield is yours. I I kind of wanted just to pass back anyway. Because they had. You know, such a mana advantage, and you know, I want to be able to, like, whenever these things are tussling, I want to be able to have the back to backs. I need only one to win. Um. Let them souls. Try me. Me. I will end this here. Oh, why didn't I play back to back? I guess I don't have to, because right now all their stuff dies, and right now two of my things die. All right, Punish Factory, have a have a good one. I'm what nightmares fear. I am the blade in the darkness. Are you supposed to be here? Banish the unworthy! I have many things. 
a good chance to kill Zed or Senna. Or maybe both. It's too late for you. Okay. Your move. All right, so they so one for one. I have no Eastwood. And then two for one, two for two, three for two, four for two. All right, so we got a four for two. We got four of their cards. They took out two of our cards. Not bad. Fiora's out of here. They get a random elite. That's a good random elite. Just I don't know the you know it trait it uh you know gets a four Demacia. Should probably just go straight to attacks. Like my blade. Only the world will survive. You are the people. My life to the old. Strength in grace, beauty in the blade. You're kind of spreading it out, so it's <laughs> just... Ah! That is supposed to be muted. Sorry about that. That's, as y'all know from this week, that's Fantasy Baseball Draft. We are now on round. So basically it's Judgment. Like, Judgment's going to be the card that, that they need. I don't know if it's worth playing the Lucian or not. Probably not. We're around 26 right now. And the person that I had in my queue is still available. It was not taken, so drafted. To me, basically, I just need to make sure I don't, yeah, I don't die to judgment. Oh, I didn't see. I didn't see what her rank was. I have two sixty-seven. All right, two sixty-seven. Okay. So we're gonna have we're gonna have just a faster video here for this one. You know, usually I do the ten matches. We're just gonna do the five matches with the quick aggro. Finished with a good four-one. Um, yeah, as y'all noticed whenever you were watching earlier, you know, Harvey threw up here. It's starting to dry. I need to go clean that up and everything. Um, so I'm going to do that here. Um, but, you know, still got our, our 35 matches in today. So we got a lot of Legends of Runeterra. This deck felt pretty good. Yeah, like it, it's just, you know, it's nothing too fancy. 
but just really good efficient threats and you know a few combat tricks to help keep them alive and um yeah i liked this deck so sparring student as like the one drop uh i was pretty happy with sparring student you know cythria and navori blade scout were the other ones i was really thinking about for for that slot uh, but i was pretty happy with the sparring student um mage seeker conservator isn't bad either but it's just kind of hard to get mage seeker conservator to die and, and really trade with um something good but like creating the six cost to spell in your hand is awesome um but yeah lucian and zed are real powerful and you know senna was right there with them i could see playing another blade keeper blade keeper looked pretty good um but yeah like the back-to-backs were awesome there wasn't really anything that I was disappointed in. Single combat, kind of. Like, our our creatures don't have very much toughness, so they don't really stay alive during single combat. It's basically like they use a removal spell on your thing, and then you can respond for only two mana and have your thing kill something else. Um, we, were, we did single combat once on, like, the spider to keep them from drawing cards and flip the Lucian by having a Senna, you know, killing a Senna away with a single combat. So it was fine. Um, you know, I was trying I was trying one rush. We used it we only drew it one time. We used it and it made a creature that was gonna trade, not trade, you know, made it a removal spell. Um I could definitely see taking out the rush and playing another like back to back. Uh or, you know, you could play like a repost or maybe that turns into a blade keeper or you know, something like that. But there we go. So there's a quick aggro. It's, um, you know, just a good, solid deck. All right, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Let me know what you think of quick aggro. Uh, let me know how you liked the deck and everything. I think it, you know, it showed pretty well over there in Master's Rank and, and it did well, winning four out of five. All right, but that's it here for this video. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.